Welcome to the Handyman Academy podcast with your hosts, Jeremy and Kate. You're just starting. You have no clients. You have no presence, no name, no reputation. You have no hope for taking this business and making it generate six figures while taking 12 weeks of vacation and only working 20 hours a week. Hi, my name is Jeremy. And I'm Kate. So how would you get that first client? So specifically for us in our handyman business, we actually went through Thumbtack, which is a lead generating uh, website slash app and really it's a good way to get your your foot in the door because it puts you in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of potential clients in your area but you do have to pay for those leads are there any other options that maybe don't cost absolutely so for for that you know we're really looking at something like facebook and next door uh and really they go hand in hand because their content is pretty much the same they allow you to, to put out posts and pictures they allow you to set up discounts that you can do straight from you know Facebook and or next door. And you know, but some of the, some of the features may have fees. We don't really dive too much into that personally, so always make sure you read your fine print. But if you're looking for something that you can do that you already kind of go there for, is you could go to your your local Lowe's or Home Depot and maybe even Menard says this. I'm not sure on this one, but you know, ask around. Go go up to the pro desk and you can sign up to be one of their local pros. So when a client comes in and asks, hey, can we get this dishwasher installed? You're on a short list to be called by them to, to do the job. So I have a way to find some of these new businesses that isn't digital? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and while you're at it, you know, just keep an eye out for, for people wearing their business shirts. And, and branded apparel because that's a great way to get in front of your target audience if you already work in say your your local neighborhood but you hey you need to run out to walgreens or, or whatever to get your prescription filled make sure you're wearing a, a branded hat or your uh, your work shirt and have your business cards handy i have used some of that before i've seen businesses well i've seen trucks on the highway and I've seen businesses and Instagram stickers on like their tailgate. And I've gone and looked them up. That's a great idea. Absolutely. And, and while you're at it, a, a lot of these businesses and libraries and, you know, all these different places where people congregate, a lot of them have community boards. So if you have, say, flyers that you make up with a, you know, a short list of the services that you provide and maybe you, you attach a couple of business cards to it, you can go and for free put these up, you know, with some thumbtacks on these community boards and there you go. Wait, so you're saying those poll numbers aren't just for babysitters? <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. You never know what uh, what any of these people are going to be looking for when they look at these boards. And heck, most of the time, they don't know what they're looking for either. But when they see your, your professional business card or your flyer saying, hey, we change out ceiling fans, they'll think to themselves, Man, you know, our ceiling fan in our bedroom has been making this weird ticking noise for, for the past couple of weeks. And you know, maybe we'll call this guy. You know, it is a little hot in my office. Maybe you just <laughs> added to your to do list. <laughs> oh, man. Always, always. All right, everyone. Well, we hope you've gotten some great direction for how to find your first client and start building a name for yourself. If you haven't yet, please stop by our website at handymanacademy.org where you can find our library of how-to videos and podcast episodes. While you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter where you'll get easy-to-navigate links to our newest content and a new picture of our mascot, Atlas. Thanks so much. Bye for now.